Welcome back. If you're watching this on YouTube, we continue our Hector series, our live stream campaign over on Twitch and recording at the same time. So we have just confederated with not only Troy, but also Paris because we have beaten Paris to Papa Priam's love. We are now the heir of Troy. Uh, and as you can see, our economy is in the toilet. It is wrecked because we have so many armies um, to command. Now we want to keep Hector's army. We want to keep this army because it has the Away. best units in the game. Those Trojan princes. Uh, well, it's like the best selection of units in the game. Fearless swordsmen as well. I've never seen them before. I don't know if they're unique to Paris or they must be unique to Troy. I've not seen them before unless I've just not gone far enough in the, in the tree before. So yeah, you have Champions of Troy, you've got Guards of Troy, Staunch Line of Spears, Super Powerful Swordsman, Hector's Chosen, and the Phyllis Swordsman. And then we've got Trojan Princes. Like I think pretty sure they're they're the best archers in the game. And then we've got Trojan Noble Chariots. So that is just brilliant. Plus, look at all that veterancy. We definitely do not want to disband that. So we need to keep Hector's army, that army, and this army, ideally, that we sent in to smash Mycenae last stream last episode so we want to we want to escape with them get them out of there but we will not move them just yet everybody else though it is chopping block time so that's just selected those three for me that's good at the top so everybody else this army i'd like to keep if we can because good veterancy uh they're not the best units but yeah we'll see if we can hold on to them paris um i probably should see if we can attack anyone actually before we disband. Yeah. Let's just attack with this army. We should do all the attacking we can do. And then start disbanding armies. You get the insane doom stack from Troy itself. You do indeed. Got an update today for your PC saying they've replaced the RAM and CPU. Should take a week to return. Well, so they've replaced that and they've that's fixed it. I mean, to be fair, nine times out of ten you would be surprised the amount of trouble RAM can Occupy cause. Like, actually, Jackie Fish, his PC died during his stream the other day, and he messaged me. He was like, ah, what's happening? And I was like, take all your RAM out and put it in stick by stick. Because that's, like, kind of primary, like, troubleshooting option. Always check the RAM. And one of his sticks had died, which was stopping his PC from booting. It was just cycling. Suicide strikes before disbanding. That is, yeah, essentially the plan happening. here. So these guys are now going to go. Soz. I know the thing is, there are... Uh, Spartan armies led by Achilles and this guy over here behind our lines, but we, we just can't keep these armies. They must go. They must go. That one straight up going. Can we attack anybody else? Can you reach anyone? There's an army over there. I wonder if Paris can reach that. No, he'd have to force March to do it. Like any, any settlements we could just go and sack. Dardania, they are allies, aren't they? Forward, Let me just double check <laughs> before I start making hasty decisions. Dardania, military alliance, noise. We have the same interests at heart. Good. Uh, is there anyone else I can confederate with? I'm guessing confederation options gone actually for the moment because we are oh, we're untrustworthy. Yep, 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 yep. That's fine. That will recover. I'm guessing that's because we have just confederated, so there's a cooldown on that showing up. Evening, any mate? How you doing? So the PC ran for five straight hours and hasn't crashed. That's that's good. Well, at least at least you've got kind of warranty of that. I mean, it's a it's a hassle having to send it back and being without it, but at least you know if there is still a problem, you can kind of keep sending it back until it's fixed, until it's sorted, sort of thing. Um. So yeah, Dardania, they're over here. They've got territory up. This way we are military allies with them. So that's fine. So they should actually... What I'm going to do with you guys uh, then... War coordination target available. Yeah, let me tell you. Go after Achilles. Keep him busy. Yeah, so we don't need to worry about going up here. How are we feeling actually about the horse peoples? You are friendly. Oh, you're all you're Pulaskians. Yeah, so you're all good. I can confederate with this culture group. Cool, Talking cool, 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 to cool. Troy should bear fruit. So non-aggression pact with you guys. Uh, military. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do these treaties. Not yet, because we're going to disband the armies. Keep disbanding that. And then we'll work out if we need to do treaties with anyone to get extra resources to up keep our current forces going. So yeah, this army can't reach anyone. You've got trash units. Bye-bye. I know we, we kind of want to keep an army over here, but... It's not viable. I mean, we'll leave Paris till last, just in case 
There's a hope there. Dardania have sent an army down here. I'm thinking... Oh, you guys can't move. You're in force march. You're out of it. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah, look at that. That's working out quite well. You guys, I'm wondering, can you reach Odysseus? You can. Oh, wow. He is going to slaughter us. I was about to say, I might fight it, but mm, we'll just all resolve that. That's a smash. It's like two to three years, so the inconvenience is problematic, but overall safety is worth it. Or oh, a two to three year warranty you've got with them. That's good. That's good. Right, well, I didn't go good eat, but what are our what are our garrisons? Garrison strength is weak there, but the thing is, when we we do get some really good units in our garrisons, so if we can get that all kind of stable and repaired, then we should be okay. That's fine. But we've got to push through there. That's not a problem. Not a problem. So we've got to take out so Ithaca. Is the problem because we've got to go all the way over to deal with him over there. But we're just going to smash on through. I mean, we have smashed. We have smashed them by taking my scene. Maybe actually I should take a settlement to recover here and just see if they won't recover and just kind of do as much damage as possible down there. Or even just hit all their little islands. That's going to be kind of the long the long game of it. We've got loads of allies down here. Let me just check who we're at war with. A lot of people. In fact, let's have a look at quick deal. Who, why are we at war with that? It's because you're at war with the old uh, Sarpedon. You guys are at war. Why are we at war with the this lot? That seems silly. Might be able to send that Troy army then to go smash that quickly. Put them in their place. We've got rebels up there because we've taken all of that. Took out a unit though, that's true. Um, Argos are down there. They've got five regions. Oh, we could go. We could take, go take out them at uh, Torizen. That would finish them off. Ithaca's got nine there over that way. Or we could just we could just push on over to Ithaca while Odysseus is busy over this way. Maybe he won't have anything quite like that idea actually. The Arcadians. No. How we can't piece out with Sparta because there are antagonist faction. Let me just... Can we not negotiate with them at all? Oh, yeah. That's fine. That's that's fine. I just wanted to see... Still be able to see how many regions they have. They've got 20 regions now. That's cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, well, our reliability is even worse now. What do they get down to minus 17? Is that because they just attacked Ithaca? Did I have a treaty? I probably had a treaty with them, didn't I? But we're... At war? Did I just... Was I not at war with Ithaca? Surely I must have been. Hmm. Who knows? Who knows? We're at war now. Not an option. This is impossible. I think maybe we weren't at war with them. I mean, our reliability rating at this point doesn't really matter because we can still get deals. So that's fine. Right. So, yeah, that army's gone. Let me just go back to my armies tab. We want to keep you. We want to keep you. Uh, probably not you. So it's got to be Paris that's got to go, sadly. Sadly, rip Paris. We'll bring him back leading an army, though. That is not going to fix things, unfortunately. So, this little force here oh, could get over there to help us that way so maybe we'll utilize that because I'm thinking we're going to go strike this settlement must have been you must have been it would have asked you if you wanted to declare oh yeah that's true yeah I don't know why that's done it it might be retroactively adding in stuff I know that that's now a thing yeah if we go take these guys out then we don't need to worry about them then we can bring these armies on over Fairly sure what Disney stack was read before he attacked it. Okay. Doing Hades work. Praise Poseidon. Get at them. Oh, I can't hit it this turn. Show me blood. That's a little bit annoying because I was hoping we could bring this one up to help out as well. Although we could take the hit to our food for a single turn. 
Are there any of those units that I'd actively want to swap over to this army? Shield of Spear Warriors, not really. Hmm. Not particularly. Those slingers. What have we got? Missile unit. Why we've got archers? Nah, let's get let's get rid of them. That's a shame. But bye bye. Minus five thousand. So we are still over. Are we giving anything away through diplomacy? No, we're not actually doing any of that. And we don't have any other. I don't want to get rid of this army. I think we can do some good damage. We're gonna have to hit this one. Heading out. Sparta. We want to start take. Well, we'll take it. I don't plan on holding on to it. Just sort of resolve that. But replenish up and just cause as much chaos over here as possible. But I'm thinking this army, I might just make a beeline to hit Odysseus's starting territories and ravage Ithaca. Yeah, bronze is also wrecked. That's true. Um, that would give me yeah, that. I need to make some trade deals. Oh god, yeah, that bronze is wrecked. That that's the bronze being wrecked is through is through this new army basically. Um, Eight hundred and thirty-one. That with Hector, and what is it? This army down here—they all cost a lot of bronze upkeep. Mm. Baseball Justin, thank you very much for gifting five tier one subs to the community. Much appreciated. Drew off your face. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy, uh, Aranist, um, Blazing Ra uh, Rainbow, uh, the new simulator, uh, Valar Mandos, and Tojan. Enjoy your subs. Right, you have ranked up, so let's go through and have a little looky here. Skirmish Light Chariot. Yeah, let's pop him on a on a chariot, I think. What's that one there? Truce? That gives you more melee defense, nice. Or is that the shout makes you go crazy? Yeah, let's give him a chariot. And then we'll give him Skirmish Chariot. That, that's, am I reading that right? That's exactly the same thing. Skirmish Chariot, Skirmish Chariot. Solidly built, but speed maneuverability minus deadly spike wheel chariot commanded. I mean, let's go for that one. That one. I think that's meant to be the melee chariot, right? Played any Crusader Kings 3? Yes! Yep, yep, yep. Uh, I'm streaming it two or three times a week at the moment. We've got a light Skirmish Chariot with that one. Uh, and a Skirmish Chariot. Bogs. Yay. Right, so replenishing up from that, that's good. Or just keep doing lots. I mean, taking that, this settlement here, which has bronze, good idea. We should probably just put in as much, um, much production and defences as we can over here. We're going to lose a fair bit. Which is not good. We need, we've got to get over here with our armies. Put on. Oh. So we'll get Hector on over. You're going to quickly take that. Beelining and doing that is probably not the, the, the best thing. But that will be more bronze. So yeah, I need to sort out food and bronze. Otherwise, we are going to be in the toilet with all that very, very quickly. This is a gold region. Favor of the... Oh. Oh. Gorgonian Cave. That is very interesting. That's a special kind of like landmark building you've got there. Um, that is nice. Athena, we're already good though. So I'm actually going to get rid of that because we want some gold production. Uh, the gold trader. That's 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 nice. Uh, but I'm going to go just for mining the gold for the moment. Gotta sort out all the public order everywhere. It's going to be a nightmare. Running any mods? Nope, not running any mods. Anything we can do for... Actually, yeah, going for that one for food per turn. Because we've got ports here. And happiness. Poseidon. Uh, we'll leave that one right now. Have we actually got... Yeah, we've got Poseidon up at his tier 2. So that gives us food per coastal region. I'm going to do an Aphrodite prayer. Because that will give me more pu public order, more happiness. Which will help. To 
just need to maximize resources everywhere. I don't need the military buildings over here. Just maximize food. Go see what Paris had done with all of his stuff. Um, we don't need that there. That's food. Also want to have that one in there. Also have that one. Troy itself. It's built up to have the best units possible. So we probably want to leave that there. So that we get renowned archers. Spear fighters that does experience of an army. Zone. That's how they've ranked up actually because they've just sat there for so long. Give you more food sitting there. That's part of that region. Remember. Cool, 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 cool. Unchallenged in yeah, for those asking, I've got a couple of a couple of CK3 kind of series out. Uh, we've got a finished Cornwall campaign. Um, we've just started a Mongol campaign with uh, and both of those had daily uploads or in the Mongol campaigns case daily. They have daily uploads. So that's all that. I think we've done most of the building. I need to see what trade we can get. We need bronze and we need food. I expect a so profitable that, meeting. Oh, you got loads of food. Good. So if I can do a barter arrangement, I need about 2,000 from you. Okay, no, 1,500. Yes, 600. Ideally, we want this for as long as possible, though. Mm, 10 turns, apparently not so much. Okay. Six turns, and we can keep boosting that up. Okay. Okay. Haggling with the traders. Boom. So six turns, 1,551. We've just got to take as much food production as as we can. Ay, 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 ay. Uh, we also need someone that's flush with bronze. Oh, Dardania, you've got so much food. I've consulted the omens. The gods bless our meeting. Let's just go big. What are you desperate for? You're desperate for bronze and gold. I get 118 gold a turn. If I were to give you... Ah, uh, can't even give you that much. But gold might do it for you guys. Because if I gave you all seven. In fact, let me just come off this. Where was that building that I was doing? That needed the gold. Not that one. That one. The Apoikia. Apoikia. Then we come back. We go to Dardania. We have the same interests. We go four thousand, and then we give them thirty gold, forty gold, fifty gold, sixty gold, seventy. Okay, it's real diminishing returns there. Oh, even if I gave them all that per turn, they'd still not do it. Wow. Okay, so I think about forty seem to have a pretty big impact. So let's just drop that the amount of food we're asking for. 40 gold a turn isn't too much, really. Oh, kind of, I would like 3,000, actually. Let's see if I do 45. So that only took off 0.3. Okay, now anything over that is fairly diminished. Okay, we'll take it down to 2,000 then. Wow, that's really not enough. Okay, let me see about doing that and then giving you a single trade of gold as well, lump sum. Wow. But you have no value for that. Dang. Wow, okay. Yeah, that's not going to work. In fact, did that... If I look at that correctly, did I... Even that is not... Oh, huh, okay. They're clearly not up for it then. I don't think we can do it at all. Um, fine. Somebody else with loads of food. Not like that short around here. Or at least it shouldn't be. Can't tell with any of the Achaeans.
My Sarpaton's got a load of bronze. Oh, my trustworthy is minus 12 now again. Friend. That's buggy. Let's see if we can get 500 bronze for... You want wood. I'm getting 4,000 wood a turn right now. How about 1,000 wood? Yeah, there we go. Let's increase bronze. How much are we losing? 1,300. So if we could get 1,400, how much wood is that going to cost me? Enough. Good. Yeah. Done. Deal. All right. That's bronze sorted. It's just food. We need another 4,000. It's because I'm untrustworthy. Uh, right. Then what we're going to need to do then is focus on people that we can do treaties with if there are anyone. Because that's going to give us a little bit of a boost. Fools. Every at least this will keep us going for five turns, and we're going to have to renegotiate things again. So be it. I'm not interested in going after all you guys. Just give me your food. Eight twenty. Lots of little deals for non-aggression. It's good because it means I can just focus on who I need to go after. The Acadians we are at war with. Why am I clicking on that? That's the wrong ones. Uh, you guys right up there. Yeah, I'm not interested in killing you. You're at war with the Amazons. Do I really want to upset them? Possibly not. I am gladdened that Troy wishes to speak. What are you desperate for? You are desperate for... You're desperate for bronze. I'm not going to give you any bronze, but I could give you a little bit of stone. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, that, that shifted things. Let's push up to... How much are we still losing food-wise? 2,000. What? Let's just see how far I can push it if I offer them 200 stone. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Ah, uh, fine. One more aggression. Or is there any more military access? No. Uh, you guys up there. I didn't want to upset the Amazons, did I? Let's go to you I guys. This will be a productive How much discussion. more food do we need? We're still down a thousand. That's not the end of the world. That's all good. You are probably also desperate for stone. I'll right offer you a hundred. Okay, 150. 30. 40. 5. 6. 7. 8. There we go. Boom. That'll do. And then we're only down a little bit. Which, once we get some more buildings in, that should fix that. Happy days. Right, we've sorted our resources out, finally. Once we take that and we hit that one for more bronze as well, we'll just have to reevaluate the situation after five turns. So someone remind me when I'm like, oh, wow, my resource is dead at turn 79, if we get there today. Uh, that's when I need to renegotiate new treaties. We can still upgrade that, get more food. So we've got to focus on food and having high influence everywhere. We've got loads of notifications as well. I feel like some of you I was keeping for very specific reasons to upgrade your skill points. You are a Temple of Apollo, so your point is saving up for Apollo, which you've already gone into. So we're saving to go for Favourite of Olympus, so at Tier 8. So we don't want to upgrade you just yet. Uh, you are over serving Poseidon. The true way. And uh, for that, we've already gone through that. So again, oh, yeah, favorite of Olympus. Plus 5% to favor of gods from rituals. Boom. So you can get that one because there's Zeus there. But no, we just want Olympus. Nice. Right. Commandment available. Yeah, we've got lots of commandments. Uh, also, chuck in more food. Uh, we can't do that one until we have more stone. Do we have the influence? We do not. We've got that one there, though, to give us influence. So commandment-wise, we've probably just got to focus everything on happiness and growth.
that's what gives us Garrus. So this, uh, is it only the Greeks and the get Garrus now? This, or did they change it where these don't give you Garrison anymore? There's no point building that then. Um, food at the cost of uh, influence. No, we'll just wait for that then. We don't want to hit the growth badly. Uh, five percent for more resources. Yep, that's what we want there. Commandment over here. What are you producing? Your influence is fine. So yeah, more resources. We've got to come through here and probably sort everything out. Why do you not have that one? What you've got that one for at uh, the influence hit. We don't want that one. We've got that one. We need that one in there. And you've got that one there. That one is at the cost of growth. You're all at tier four already. Uh, I'll I'll leave it in for now. We kind of need to maximize our resources. We need to get the small mountain a peak here in there. We've got gold in there, and we've got that one. You would also want the extra resources production. That's what you want to go for. You want to go for the first one, the third one, and the fourth one. That's that's tend how I tend to max it out. Um, we've got loads of bits in here. We've got uh, altar of Ares. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I need to come back and sort all these out at some point, but. Right, you guys over here. Your influence is high enough. It's going to drop, but we'll have that sorted out. Hopefully soon there's another one of Poseidon there. Uh, you probably would want to get that one in Chieftain's Hall. But for now, we'll go for resources. Commandment available back up here. Now that we've got all of that one, we definitely want to go for all resources. You've got construction available. Um, yeah, I can't do anything there. You're on... James, yeah, happy. All oh, right, yeah, happiness over there. That's construct. Just telling me construction, isn't it now? You think there's something available to construct, but there's actually not. I'm gonna have a rebellion up over here. Yeah, there's not a lot I can do about that. I'll leave that for now. Right, I think we are all done for this turn. So let's end it. I oh, check the gold deposits. Yeah, need to see how much they've got. In there still. They're going after the Dardanians, but looks like they've got broken by the garrisons. Ithaca, Ithaca, Ithaca. Where's the distance going? He's going to go attack that one. Oh, okay, we'll let it fall. I know it's something we could defend and we could do. Imagine they're going to carve a path up here before Hector can get on over. That's just how it has to be. Um, I really actually no. I'm gonna say no, Amazons, because I'm really not desperate. I'd rather let my gold build up because if we let our build our gold build up for a few turns, that could help us out a fair bit. You're offering me 220 gold for a military alliance. Uh Yeah, I'll take that. I don't know who you plan on going after, but I'll take that. And you guys are starting to declare war on me. Cool. That's not good. The Amazons are between us, but you're obviously seeing that we're busy. But you've now got Sarpedon. Coming after you. Huh. 
And you guys as well. You're you're above the Macedonians. You're also attacking me. At least I've got those allies coming to help out. All right, just everyone. Everyone jump on Hector. Come on. Get it over and done with now. No, oh, Dardanians have refused. Dang it. Dang it, Dardanians. How dare you. And this, we can fight and win. You know, they got renowned archers. I reckon we can do it. Let's dive on him. Wait. Only a teeny tiny little gap they can get in. Uh, the slight concern is those chariots. The arch chariots, though. So hopefully we can shoot them to bits. And we've got javelins. Javelins will help. Slingers, what's your range? 160. Archers, 180. Yes, yeah, so we'll keep them back. We've got some swordsmen there. And keep another sword. Actually, those two, what I'm thinking, will have you here. Just in case they try and flank on round. If they don't, we just tuck on in and defend. For sure. At your command. Let's Send them to me. Your hero is under attack. Until they get into range. We could flank on around behind them, which I think I'll actually do with these guys. We should be able to hold the line. That's your command! prepared! Off to glory! Onward! Oh, as far forward as possible. You to attack the arch chariots, keep them pinned in the river. Brave son of Troy, bring them down. Bring my flanking units round. Hold swords, hold. Carrots down. Fully armed. Might. Send in the swords. These are these renowned archers causing a lot of damage. There we go, they've turned to face my spear fighters. Good. Pull back. State your orders. Bring him down. Thank you for Joe for subscribing with the tier one sub for four months. <laughs> Cheer off your face. Got 
my opinion on the game compared to Total Warhammer. I would say don't compare it to Total Warhammer because it's not in the same kind of class of game. Saga titles are meant to be smaller, more focused, not as full feature set games. So it's never going to, in my opinion, compare. But obviously, if you hate fancy games, you're not into fancy games, then you would probably prefer Troy over Warhammer. Although there is some mythological fancy element to the way they've done Troy. Which, honestly, I would have preferred if they'd gone full, full fancy, well, full mythological or full historical, to be honest. I think it's mainly because the community at large is itching for a Victory traditional to historical taste. Total War game. Not kind of a, a, a hybrid like Three Kingdoms or Troy that has over-the-top romanticized characters, but uh, kind of a traditional historical game. So hopefully, I mean, that should be what's next. That should be what's next. I mean, overall, Troy, Troy does have issues, but it's a, it's a 7 out of 10 experience, I'd say. Um, I mean, more so, especially during the first 24 hours when they launched the game when it was free, I was telling people, you know, make sure you don't, you know, miss out on getting it free. Like, I was saying, like, don't buy the game, get it free. Um, because, you know... It's a, it's, it's, it's a reasonable... It's definitely better than Thrones of Britannia. Um, the previous saga title. Um, it's got better pacing than that, which was kind of one of my major uh, complaints. Um, with, uh, with Thrones. But, um, yeah, it's, it's still not going to compete with... Uh, with like Warhammer, at least not for me. That's just got so much variety. I mean, that's going to be a problem with quite a lot of historical games uh, or historical Total War titles going forward. How do they compete with the variety of just the, the factions and units in, in Warhammer? But they can they can do it by deepening and expanding existing features. It's good as a free game, yeah, for sure. Like, no doubt, like, picked it up in the first 24 hours when it was free. Like, don't think there's really much to complain about, to be honest. Uh, you got a fairly sol solid title for free. Now, I'd say probably wait for it to be on sale, to be perfectly honest. Or if you're not that fussed by it, wait until it comes out on Steam. Hey, OT Curve. Hey, Dim. Um, so we've got a, a new epic mission. Dueling Fates. We've got to make sure Fifth is destroyed, which already has been sort of because it's been confederated. How the Mighty Have Fallen. Achilles defeated, plus 10 influence, 10 turns. Wisdom of War. That should just, yeah, automatically kick through. Mission issued. Annex of Mycenae. Or Nax of Mycenae, rather. Seal of Mycenae. Cool, 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 cool. We've got one. One little bit. A gift from uh, Lycia. Crest Relics. That's Influence. In favor of Gods. Granite. Construction time. Stone construction. Celestial Iron. For all units on recruitment. And grants ancillaries. I am going to go for construction time domain buildings. I'm going to go for stone. Oh, it's plus 20, minus 20% 20 stone construction costs. Mm. Relics is quite nice for the influence, actually. Yeah, actually, I'm going to go for relics just because that'll boost up all of our new bits, our new conquests and territories. Growing League. Oh, yeah, of course. That's that's something I haven't looked at. The Azawan League will have got wrecked by the fact that we are no longer... Um. We don't have Paris, all of his territory. So we're, we're a growing league. When we get up to 40, that's kind of when we start getting some good buffs and bonuses. Or oh, some really good ones, because we get minus 10% upkeep cost, which is what we could really do with right now. So we need to take 10 more regions. Uh, we add to it ourselves? No, it's just our allies. So we contribute nothing. Mm. It'd be nice if we contributed a percentage to it. But it's Lycia, uh, Athria, Ilian, um, Imbrasos and uh, Hyractisidae. How do you say that one? All of those. Poison the well. Okay. War is in my blood. That is rather upsetting, to be perfectly honest. How dare you? That's my elite force you're poisoning battle. there. What we'll probably do is give this to Paris, actually, because they've got the archers. Uh, when can I bring him back on in? Probably out for a few turns.
four turns. Break some head. Oh wow, we can just probably just order resolve that. Yep. Hit them now. Rather than having to fight that, the, the army's so strong. That's useful to know, actually. Uh, yeah, we'll lose the fight. Think, yep. Progress feels good. What do I think is the best total war right now? I was only going to get one. Uh, yeah, it depends if you like fancy or not. Because for me, fight. it's easily Warhammer. Easily Warhammer 2, that is. Um, if you're not into... Um, if you're not into fancy... If you're not into fancy stuff, then it's not going to appeal to you, though. Uh, in which case, ultimately, I wouldn't say... I wouldn't agree with chat saying Rome 2. Because the most played non... I would say, then take a look at the roster of other Total War games Weapons and choose ready. the one who has the historical period that most interests you. Because the other ones are all reasonably solid. There are some issues with some of them. Like Empire. I Empire, I at times think is my... Is probably my most favourite historical title just because of the scope and scale of it. Never quite managed to achieve everything it wanted to, but I feel like we haven't had anything as bold and as brave as that from Total War, um, aside from Warhammer in terms of fantasy. Yeah, if you like fancy stuff, get get Warhammer 2. You will have a great time, and you'll 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 want to invest in the DLCs and getting Warhammer 1. You don't need to install Warhammer 1, you just play Warhammer 2, but if you own Warhammer 1 in your Steam library, it will bring all those factions into the game through a separate campaign called the Mortal Empires campaign, which is a massive map that combines both maps from the two games. Uh, I would highly recommend doing that. Uh, but yeah, look, look, definitely look to get lots of stuff on sale for the DLCs and things like that. Um, that is administration efficiency that helps with research yeah sure and this is for apollo how are we doing on old apollo oh yeah it has just dropped down so that wouldn't be terrible because i've not spent any food recently because we're still bleeding food if you're new to the series and the type of game in general i recommend three kingdoms Eh, i'd honestly say any of them are none of them particularly are better than others to get into I think the kind of the major deciding factor is honestly um, what time period it is. But that's that's probably because I, I genuinely, I just dislike 3K. I just, it, there's not one thing that that really makes me dislike it. It's just that, that I don't, I'm not interested in, in Chinese history. And the game for me isn't compelling enough to get me interested in it to interact with all the characters. I guess it's the same way though that someone might say they don't like... Uh, to Warhammer, like none of the fancy characters interest them. They're not interested in fancy stuff. That's that's my, that's kind of my equivalent for me. 3K just doesn't do it for me. Um, but yeah, ultimately, I would say historical total war wise, go for whichever one interests you most. If you're interested in Rome, then than Rome 2 and that, that that era. Medieval, Medieval 2, Medieval 2 still does hold up, although that one, because it's anything pre-Empire Total War, does fall off a little bit because you don't have any of the UI changes or improvements that have occurred since like Empire onwards with the major change shift in the engine. Um, if, you, if you like Empire but you want a, a, a slightly more focused experience that doesn't kind of overstretch itself and end up with uh, with a few more bugs than would be ideal then you want to look at napoleon total war i mean ultimately i mean like going through all the total war games i don't think there's really uh, they're all enjoyed by 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 some niche of the of the community you know it, it all comes down to you know what era you like there's some people that still absolutely love thrones of britannia even though for me i i i, I can't stand it because the, the pacing seems completely off um but yeah ultimately it's it's down to 
Uh, if I land there with Hector, I could probably strike Odysseus and stop him conquering. I what are we doing up here, though? What are our garrisons like? We've got all these guys to fight now as well, don't we? Yeah, we just just caught them. So it might be better to send Hector up here, deal with the Spartans up this way, and then consolidate and then push down. I think that's what we'll do. Thank you, OT Curve, gifting a tier one sub to was that just a random member of the community? That that's that <laughs> That's a random string of numbers. Is that is that a person or a bot or what? <laughs> Draw off your face. Thank you. Just wanted the silver present icon. Nice. Okay, because it calls a new month now. Yeah, October. Happy, happy first of October, everybody. Okay, oh, yeah, she can now do favor of Olympus. Sweet. Oh, she's got another point as well. Uh, that one is action cost. Yeah, let's do that. Lower the cost. They're still low on food. Anything for more food. You overestimate me. Are you guys going to push straight to that one, and then that's that war done. You can bring them back down. From a game development perspective, Three Kingdoms is a step in the right direction, adding tool tips to basically everything. Yeah, definitely, 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 definitely. Um, I would say like the biggest, the biggest like, just because Three K doesn't appeal to me, though, there are it does improve the series forward like the diplomacy changes which have obviously made their way into troy and this is a you know it's pure speculation but seeing as troy's built on the warhammer engine hopefully that means these diplomacy options will make their way over to warhammer 3 um like the diplomacy improvements alone make 3k like a you know a valued member of the total war series for me sure it's just it's just not a period of history that i mentioned and because because that's as i said because i i don't know who any of these characters are and honestly i don't feel inspired to go and find out who any of them are there's nothing that really draws me in the game itself doesn't hold much appeal to me but it's like with all total wars they they tend to improve the series forward in a certain area to a degree so if they all keep doing that then in my book even if some of them aren't for me then that's that's okay So yeah, these... No, you're, so you're defending me there, actually. You've managed to stop them that way. And Sarpedon's pressing on them pretty My quickly. That's good. Yeah, Sarpedon, you go conquer these guys that declared war on me, which are doing nicely. And then that means I can... Uh, the, the league will keep getting bigger. We've got our army down here. I mustn't forget about. I'm going to go kill these guys off at their capital. That's their only region. So that'll wipe out a faction. Yep, I did a Amazon stream last week and uploaded a, the, the video to YouTube. Yep, I played as Penthes Alea. Check out that uh, that video. Birthday on the 10th, taking a lovely trip down to Cornwall. Oh, nice. Where else are you going, OT? In Cornwall. Plunder it. Do, 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 do. Naturally, I have improved. There we go. That's that faction destroyed. I mean, I'm not worried about holding on to these. I'd rather let loads of rebels come on in and just cause lots of chaos. That's that's what I'm planning on doing here. I won't even build stuff. Uh, I'm just going to turn this army around, hit um, Turin's, and there. I mean, I could go and hit Sparta try and grab all that but i think i'd rather just go i'm um, just because i can't hold on to it i might just go and raise all of ithaca all of Odysseus' territory over there to take him out see how long we can do that i mean we might it might be a waste we might need this army to actually help us out over here but we'll see we'll see and let's just see diplomacy wise if there's anyone that's willing to do oh, dardania my kinsman wishes to non-aggression you're gonna give me you're gonna give me a boatload of food mate Oh wait, damn it, that's demands. No, you're gonna you're gonna give me a regular agreement of lots of food. Thank you. In fact, actually if I can get you back into the league, that would be great. Ah crap, didn't mean to do that. There we go. Five turns, boom. 
yes, military alliance. Uh, and guess what? You're gonna give me. You're gonna give me more food. Uh, I could get you. Um, I could ask for more bronze, actually. Yes. You're gonna give me some bronze. Boom. Friendly to the channel, good to know. Yeah, feel free to check it out um, over over on YouTube. Without. Yeah, I re I record like ninety nine percent of my streams. Like there's one or two maybe like Magic the Gathering streams I won't record. But um, other than that, all get some um, record and upload to YouTube. I'm sure I'll benefit from talking to Troy. Yeah, give me some food as well. Just get as much food stockpiled for when this all, when all these treaties end. What we think is a sound plan. Not you're at war with Penthesilea's Amazons. I don't know where she is. I think ten. She's a horde. She's going somewhere. I don't know where. I think she went this way. I'm not really sure where she's gone to. She should be harassing. Mm, she's harassing those guys up there. Who else? Oh, she's gone off of them, maybe. Mm, yeah, I don't know where she, where her horde's gone. But, uh, I mean, I don't know if, if she'll play out similar to what her objectives are when you play as her, which is to go after, go after the Greeks. Nice bald head. Thank you. Hair is starting to grow back, so I, I tend to trim it every two weeks. So this weekend is next next trim time. But anyway, quick deal. Um, I don't upset the Amazons. That's the thing. How how's my relations with them? Oh, it's not great. Last thing I want is being brought back to deal with uh, that. We'll we'll throw in a non-aggression here with these guys. They've got a lot of food. Hear Troy out. Yes, you probably should. Eight hundred. We'll see what we can get. Just bolster our food. For sure. For sure. For sure. I'm ready to talk. Every little helps. You're not really not gonna give me that much, are you? No. I'm not I'm gonna just give you non aggression. There you go. Boom. Right, that yeah, that sorted out our food quite nicely. Oh, we're a mighty alliance now as well. Boom, 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 boom. Which means actually that's helping us out. Very nicely, because we now get minus 10% uh, upkeep cost for all units and armies faction-wide. Beautiful. Um, yeah, if we get it to the uh, Azawa, that's minus 20%. But for that, we need 60. But it's looking like it could go that way, especially with Lycia pushing on. Get more allies in there. Good. Good, 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 good. Um, you've been moved... Have I moved you guys? Can I move you guys this turn? No, I can't. We've just gone attacked. We've moved the other force. I think that's all we can do. Can't build any more. All our reserves of stuff are building up. Send it. Do I find... How do I find the... Do I find the whole place that OP? Playing on Legendary was significantly easier than any other faction. Um... I did it. I only played about three hours of it. Um... It felt like a very different play style, for sure. Um... I liked the variety. Um, I didn't play enough of it, I guess, to work out the difficulty. It did, it did feel like the the momentum though was was pretty pretty powerful though. Like, I had, I had one or two issues, but most of the time, especially with the the blood oath, getting all of those in, those extra units as your reinforcements, that's mental. I kind of feel that's how the hordes are meant to be though. Like, the way to squish them is you've got to wait. Almost kind of like how green skins, you don't want to attack them when they've got a full war going. So you don't want to attack the Amazons when they've got a full uh, blood blood oath going. Ah, they're coming to attack me over here. Really? 
Oh, it's the, that's their little force. I would wonder where they where their men have gone. Mm. With archers, I might be able to win this. Maybe not, though. This might be terrible. Let's see. We've got lots of, lots of little... It always makes me feel like we're going into some kind of like tunnel system with this on the mini-map. I wonder if my missile units can do enough damage. Maybe... Maybe, maybe, maybe. They're, seeing as they're all deployed up here, we can choke point them in. But they might just have too many infantry. But specifically sieging, they become super easier. I feel like siege battles are very difficult otherwise. Yeah, I guess, I think that's 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 probably the way they're going to be in Troy. Because, yeah, they say siege battles are very tough. You, you lose a lot of troops going in for them. Um, Your hero is under attack. Seems like the yeah the horde just beat plays as the the beat, tries to be the best horde it can be and just smash. Okay, having him fight their one not a good idea. Ah, run away, run away, run away. Take care, you are losing ground. Yeah, not a lot I can actually do though. No, okay, this is this is folly. We cannot win. I cannot hope to beat them. Look, javelins, what are you doing? Your warriors are losing heart. Yep, I'd lose heart too now. Yeah, he's dead. We've whittled them down a fair bit, but it's not enough to win. Do any of the characters ever stand bloody still? Nobody breathes or stands like that, much less sit. <laughs> Your warriors have been routed. Staying outside a new key place called Fradden. Central Cornwall, so you can visit anywhere. Nice. So cheap. Thanks, Premier Inn. Nice. Uh, I do I do enjoy a Premier Inn. Oh, who's this? The goat rammy people. Oh, are those the one? No, those are other people down here. Great. It's going to keep that army busy for all, which is not what I want. It's my best force, but hey ho. At least Hector can start keeping the, uh, the Greeks busy. You want gold for wood. That is a terrible deal. No. No. Yeah, so the Amazons is the first expansion pack, the first DLC for uh, for Troy. They do actually have a fair bit more planned via their, their blog post roadmap. It's meant to be a blood DLC. I kind of just feel that it's, it's all kind of taking too long for that sort of stuff to come out. But I guess COVID delays and things like that. I mean, DLC is not taking that long to come out. They're like... As long as that space... I imagine the plan with that is to space out the DLC to keep enough people playing and also keep the game relevant enough that when it launches on Steam next August, there'll still be people playing it. Or still be people excited to then play it on Steam. Whereas if all the Steams... If all the Steams run out of people's interest in it, then it's not going to have a, a good launch on Steam. But then, I guess, with the amount of money they probably got paid by Epic, do they care? Not sure anymore. Uh, Anax of Thessalia. Okie dokie, yeah. Lots of Anaxes to do. Lots of king titles to claim. Busy, busy, busy. Sailor. Firm but fair. Nice. Uh, minus 5% food upkeep for all units, army. Okay, that's, that's, that's good, right? 
If that's not plus 5%, that's minus. That's a, that's a good one, I think. You get the next gen consoles, if so. Which one? Um, I pro if I'm gonna, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get one. I probably won't get one until Christmas or after Christmas. See what the sales are like. Or if there's any kind of good sort of like bundles of the consoles. But if I'm gonna get one, it'll probably be a PS5. Right. So we got the marching drills. Um, that gives us treasures lose after battle faction wide. Um. Yeah, I was going to go for that one. It's a single turn. Let's do that. More post-battle loot. I'm just getting it for free, and it looks amazing, so I'll be buying it on Steam when it comes out. Nah, that's fair. That's fair. Doing Hades work. What we'll do I is we'll go here and we'll raid their territory, Any and then we'll hit that now. settlement to finish them off. Resources are just about looking okay. They are continuing to see just here. How long until we attrition out? Don't hold back. Doesn't actually tell me. Turns remain until settlement surrenders, but how many turns until I start taking attrition? Or oh, oh, we're a port, so we don't take attrition. As long as the port is um not blockaded I think we don't take attrition but then siege armies can leave via the settlement or yeah so I don't think we take attrition then because they'd have to hit that or stop it I don't know how you would blockade it though because there's no there's no naval units who knows A contented populace follows blind. send you over here next Same here. How come PS5? Just personal preference. Moving from PS4 to Xbox Series X. That's all your mates are on Xbox. Um, for me, it's just the, the exclusives on PlayStation interest me more than Xbox, mainly because most of the Xbox exclusives are now available on PC as well. So, yeah, there's kind of nothing really keeping me. Um, Hecatine, we're already on that one. That's Athena Hecatine you up. There's nothing really kind of keeping me heavily invested in an xbox my we have an we do have an xbox one x um my wife is a is a big xbox gamer she's all into her xbox titles that's what that's what she grew up playing the gods speak the wise listen yeah we've got another another one over here who are you focused on no one i am your bridge to the divine uh but we do need someone to actually venerate apollo here so let's make you an Apollo gal as well then. Uh, where is Apollo? There he is. Upgrade that for more food. Give us all that food. That's the main thing. I want to get out of this. Uh, what are we doing over here? We've got Hector up there now. So he can start keeping these guys at bay for now. Your triumph is assured. That is a, a walled city. Oh, I don't think we've got anyone that's a siege attacker, do I? Oh no, he's a siege attacker. The wise warrior. Let's see what this looks like then. Show your oh, it's Agamemnon. Suggestion. It's Aggie, Aggie, Agamemnon. If I hit that, break the siege, just let me run away. No, I'm still stuck in the zone of control. Okay. Oh, they reclaimed my scene. Okay, we'll move up here. That's fine. I think, yeah, we probably won't worry. We'll just use this as distracting them a little bit. We didn't bother repairing that. We'll head over, if we can, to Ithaca. Raise all of that so Odysseus is taken out. Because how strong is old? He's oh, got 16 regions, though. Oh, I mean, he's claimed a fair bit over there. It looks like he's gone through this way. But if we take out his starting position, that's going to be the, the thing that takes the longest amount of time to do to finish off to finish our victory objectives. Never got into Halo, so 
I honestly can't ever kind of uh, kind of get the hype. I never. I played. I played it, but I was like. Eh. <laughs> so I know it's a, uh, it's a dangerous stance to have. What units we got with the archers? So yeah, let's go for that one. And range of arch units. My spy. You've got your poisoning. Yeah, there you go. More poison power. See you, OT. Have a good time. Work. Have it goes well. Oh, it's a good work call. This dude. Uh, common touch. You're not going to be embedded into a force, actually. Ignore that. Ignore me. Resources, that's what we want. We've already got that one. Comes immortal. They can be wounded but never killed. Wow. Oh, we want that one. Yeah, plus twenty percent to all resources. You. They play Halo in the two thousands. Uh, a bit, a bit. I'll have to I was kind of not really playing much Xbox then, though. Starting to get heavily into PC gaming. All right, let's see. What we can do here is anyone else getting the McDonald's commercial every time they log on? <laughs> I I haven't yet when I've been on channels. Is that the latest the latest ad that be playing all over the place on Twitch? Um, yeah, I can't do anything about that. That's fine. We'll bring Hex down to reclaim. Odysseus. He will be stopped. Got a battle with Sean Bean today. Harpadorn. You are demanding a butt ton of bronze for some wood. No. No. What do you what do you want, Sarpadon? No. Commercials are localized. Yeah, they will be, yeah. Yeah, they will be localized. And also probably based on your accounts, ad preferences, habits, things like that. But yeah, also yeah, like a US McDonald's campaign won't obviously show up on UK viewers. <sighs> They're striking back here. Um, I'm going to have to order a dog. They might take this. Oh, yeah. You've, you've dropped your sword, mate. You're dead. You're oh, don't put your arm up. Oh, is it the, the Travis Scott uh, ad? Yeah, I've heard about that one. Got his own meal. Best man, subscribe with Prime. Thank you very much. <laughs> Draw off your face and using the new T emote. Enjoy. Yes, we've got a new T emote. We've got a goblin emote now. They are attacking us. Oh, we're one turn away from attritioning. Oh, that's, that's how we find out then. That's good. We've got walls and we've got some of our most sort of staunch units. Some guards of Troy. So they'll be fine. Yeah, we, 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 we got this, I think. They've got a load of chariots, which are not going to do them many favours. The renowned archers are a bit scary. But I think we'll be okay. Although, now we're talking about McDonald's. Now now I want... <laughs> now, I, now I'm thinking, hmm, do I have that sausage roll in the fridge for lunch? Or do we play... Do we play let, let Twitch order Lionheart Deliveroo for lunch? It's a sub audio from Stronghold. It is indeed, Joe Holden. We, on Fridays, we've been playing through Stronghold 1, 2, and we've just finished off Crusader. And we will be playing Warlords when that comes out next year as well. Uh, just group them all up, even though they're all over here. Oh, no, they've split into two forces. Ah, sneaky. I'm kind of tempted, probably just to leave one unit over to cover these guys and slow them down and the rest we focus on smashing these guys and then we could retreat up to the, the victory point which is just awesome up here I love it because that's the main threat 
So we're going to want archers and slingers up by the main walls there. Although you can totally spread out way more. Okay. Uh, we'll have guards of Troy watching this gate. Um, harpies are absolutely devastating. So actually, let's put the harpies up here to shred some people as they come on in. They look really cool as well. Some bird wings on their head. Imagine if it arches up on up up on here, like firing on, like you could fire on across. I mean, what's that? What's the range? If we took an arch unit, popped over here, they would actually be able to fire across, which would just be disgusting. But we, we can probably just deal a fair bit of damage by. Uh... That is that is messed up. <laughs> Just having them there. Anyway, uh, what we left with then? We've got some spears. You know, I'll leave a unit of renowned swordsmen over here, um, just because they will fire that fort tower in there. They're pretty strong. What I might do actually is put my. Do I want to risk losing my hero? Can deal with that warlord. What are we? We're a defender. Hmm. Swords down the ground, pop him up there to activate the towers, although I think they're activated anyway. We'll have these guys just to hold them off that way. And then we've got two swords to support here if the enemy gets through the guards of Troy. Let's do it. Does Sneak have a lemon flavor? You're a staunch monster ultra drinker. Uh, they don't. They did have a... It was a limited run. I think it was called their Blizzard flavor. Uh, it was before I even knew about Sneak. I think it was like this time last year they released it uh, in the sort of lead up to winter. Uh, but it was a limited run flavor. Um, I think. I don't know if they're going to bring it back maybe each, each winter or not. Uh, but that was meant to be citrusy. Um, so, you know, they don't... The, they don't have anything lemony at the moment. Probably the closest would be Tropicilla because it's got sort of citrus and tropical fruits. But it's not it's not powerfully lemony. Highly recommend their new Purple Storm in a can flavour though. Which you can also get in a powder. If you're into the powders, Sour Apple. Beautiful. Oh, I love watching... Militia go to slaughter in the morning. It was game when it was free. It's confusing. Have you tried the? I think it's the Agamemnon. Agamemnon's the got the tutorial. It is. It is um a little bit overwhelming to start with. Highly recommend pressing F1 because that will give you a tool tip in every single aspect of the game, and then you can find out a little bit more about what's going on, which is quite useful. Cheer everyone for the win. This is the latest Total War game, yes. If you're into fantasy and crazy creatures, highly recommend checking out the Warhammer series. Although I would say start with Warhammer 2 over 1. Because Warhammer 2's had loads of uh, really good legacy updates. Over, over Warhammer 1. And the best way to play Warhammer 1 now is to buy it, keep it in your Steam library, never install it. And just play it through Warhammer 2's Mortal Empires campaign, which combines the maps of Game 1 and 2, and brings in all those factions. Plus, if you have any of the DLC for Warhammer 1, it'll still bring it in as well. Like, really, I, I can't see any reason why you would need to play Warhammer 1 now. You just play in Warhammer, Warhammer 2. Especially now that they've done the update to increase um, end turn times in Mortal Empires. Because that was, like, the big bugbear before. If you wanted to play as a Warhammer 1 faction, the end turns just took forever. The enemy yeah, you got a roommate that got you into Total War. He never told me to get two instead of one, so two. He, he and he never told me to get two instead of one, so two is not good. Do you mean he told you to get two? He did tell you to get two instead of one, and you did get one. Yeah, I'm confused. 
Or you, you got one and then you got two and you were like, oh my god, two is way better than one. Why did I bother getting one? Brain in the morning, not working. Okay, they're through the gates. That's fine, keep them busy. Bring this guy down as well. That's fine, they'll keep them busy. We got, we've got a bug since the Amazon update though. We get these wh weird white squares. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> uh, at least I understood you though, uh, Blazing Rainbow. That's good. <laughs> oh dear. Trivia. What does pressing J do? So J, I will show you what it does. It turns a unit around. Um, which is good if you're suddenly about to be flanked. So enemies are coming through the gate, say. They're charging us. But oh no, suddenly um, units are appearing from behind. We need to turn, otherwise we're going to get flanked. Select a unit, press J, and you can see the unit turns around to face the other direction. Oh no, they're coming back through the gate. Press J. And they turn back around. You have captured the gate. Top uh top tip. I rarely use J though, I always forget to use it. That's kind of my Just watch That's me. on me though. I reckon if we throw a few forces that way we might be able to see him off. One of your units has no more ammunition. Aggers was the hardest campaign. <laughs> I love that you just called Agamemnon Aggers. <laughs> it's like it's your old drinking buddy. All right, Aggers. Oh, bloody hell. You won't believe what Aggers did on a night out. Oh, crazy Aggers. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. Uh, I think um, if you're looking for an easier start... Uh, you guys just put those ladders up and we're like, nope, we're out of here. Wow. Um, I think Sparta, Menelaus, is a good good character to play as. He's got a, a fairly kind of straightforward campaign. Especially with his like campaign mechanics and stuff. Would you agree Troy feels more micro-intensive than most to all games? Yeah, I kind of feel like the with the combat system, uh, with like the emphasis on flanking and terrain types and things like that, um, you do need to kind of a bit more aggressive clicking all over the place. Because <laughs> um, things can happen very quickly. And there I was thinking he was referring to former Liverpool defender, defender De <laughs> Daniel Agger. <laughs> uh, I don't want to carry the ladder back. Those things are heavy. Yeah, we just we just pulled these magical ladders out of our ass, uh, pop them against the wall, lads, and then we'll then we'll nope out of here. Oh, total war! So they they're flanking around this way with the chariots because they're like nope, we're not gonna stay here. I reckon my archers can probably shoot them if I move them around that. Must have been the foldable ladders from Costco. Okay, just hit me in the back. Go, 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 boys. Wreck them. What is best in life? Uh, w w uh in... What's the context of that statement? <laughs> or that question, rather. The tutorial was very confusing. Yeah, I've not played this tutorial um, for Troy, so I'm not actually sure how, how good or bad it is. But I would say if you want a, a, a an easier campaign to get started, I would say try out Menelaus in Troy. You know, actually, Hector's fairly straightforward, to be honest. And it's kind of a, a fairly safe... I say that, I had... I had a bit of a mare at the start because I, I listened to Pub Priam too much. Every man in that unit carries part of the ladder. They all they all shove a bit of ladder up their up their backside. They all pull it out and then connect it together. Charge a bit anticlimactic. Yeah, it's it's so weird. Sometimes charges are great in Troy and sometimes it misses the mark. Like collision I kind of feel like there's no middle ground. It's either on or it's off. Uh, and when it's on, it's it's on to the extent where units fully pull through. But we've won. We have defended, which is good. That's what I expected. I love that we held them right by the gateway as well. That's pretty cool. 
I believe he was referencing Conan the Barbarian with Arnold Schwartz in regards to what is best in life. I do not get that reference. I, I never actually watched Conan the Barbarian with uh, old, old Schwartzy. Alas. <laughs> 